it's, it's a lovely recipe. The nicest recipe you've ever tasted. We have potato onion slits. They're actually baked in um, onion gravy and then served with gravy as well because some people like it with more gravy. Potatoes and gravy? Yes. Really? Mm. So you're a vegetarian? Yes. W would you eat meat? I, I wouldn't eat it, but I would cook it. What about fish and seafood? I would need a, a mask. You need I'd a have, mask? Yes. I, if I don't have a mask, then I'll, I'll probably puke. But if, if, if I do, then I'm fine. How did you make this gravy? Uh, it's it's a packet gravy, but sometimes I make it my own. So you came to MasterChef and you bought the packet gravy and put some uh, spring onion in there. It's, it's not really MasterChef, I'm, I'm sorry. Thanks for giving it a go. OK. Yeah. A humble carrot. Absolutely, it's all about the carrot. A Christchurch humble carrot? Yes, it is a Christchurch humble carrot. Has it been shaken a bit? It has indeed. <laughs> There's elements that are really good, but although the carrot cake is nice and the ice cream is really good, what lets it down is balance. Okay. At this level, the pork has got to be moist. God, with this amount of crayfish, you could always buy your way in there, couldn't you? I came down with a half dozen. Just make sure you leave them behind when you go, will you? <laughs> no, didn't get there. There's plenty of seafood on the menu, but it's no easy task landing the catch of the day. My name's Tony Price. I'm from Auckland and I'm a landscaper. Perfectly cooked harpoca. Oh, wonderful, thank you. Is it a master chef dish? Yes, it is a master chef dish. And I'm going to give you a yes. The bones are there for it to be a great dish, and the bones are in you to be a great chef. You rose to the occasion and so did your souffle, so I will rise to the occasion and give you a yes. Wow. Yeah, it's a great dish, I'll give me a yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here it's today? Just getting, it's too just, good. But it's just you getting know? better and better and better. The next contestant is used to serving drinks, but will this be one for the road? My name is Chantal O'Brien and I am from Ashburton and I own a bar down there. And I also have a beautiful little girl who is almost four. It's going to be hard being away from her. I am making for my dish wild venison. We eat a lot of venison at home. The boys go out shooting, and what they shoot, we have for dinner. Chantal, I haven't seen a chive aerial since series one with Steve. And today you've bought us not one, but two chive aerials. We'll just get rid of that. What does it do? Uh, nothing. It's great. Can you cook? At this stage, I'd say well done. I think you should give her an apron. Mm. The next cook up is taking a gamble on a very straightforward recipe. I'm cooking a dish which is essentially steak, chips and salad. But now I've got a few, a few winning tricks up my sleeve, so I'm sure they're going to love the dish. Hi, I'm David McKinnon. This is Christchurch, my hometown, and I work for Rockstar Recipes, a company that teaches people to play music online. I love music. It's one of those times where I can unwind, get together with some friends. I think I was four when I first started cooking. I had to literally climb up onto the bench and then I would stir the porridge and when it was ready I used to call out porridge is ready. I entered MasterChef to push myself. Uh, I think I'll be able to bring some excellence to the table as well. It smells great. Looks good. Wow, thank you. Probably room for improvement, but um, no. that dish is just fantastic like that. You do not need to change one thing. It is perfect beyond belief. Wow. You guys gotta get up and taste this. You are gonna love this dish. Oh. I couldn't fault this, I really couldn't. Wow, thank you. 
what's really hard to do is, is to take a bistro dish and, and sort of turn it into a sort of a fantastic restaurant dish. It's like turning James Blunt into Led Zeppelin or something like that, and that is Led Zepp on a plate. Oh, thank that you. That is absolutely fantastic. Just perfect, mate. Cool, thank well you. Done. Thank you very much. This is an absolute yes. Thank you. <laughs> if you can cook as well as that all the way through MasterChef, you'll win it. <laughs> well done. Love your work. Thank you very much. And right now, I'm going to have another one of those potato <laughs> chips. Man, now that's yeah. what MasterChef is yeah. about. I want to go out to the restaurant and be able to get that. Guess what happened? What? I got one of those white MasterChef aprons. <laughs> that's so awesome. Sorry, I'm a... Central Otago lawyer Tracy Patterson is sorry, used sorry, to appearing sorry. in front of judges. And I've got three children at home, so I'm leaving all them behind. I'm also leaving my job. I really want this really badly. But can her dish do her justice? So there's a lot going on on this plate. What I try to do is I try to marry some of my favourite things. A marriage made in heaven or a marriage made in hell? Possibly purgatory. All the components are tasty and clearly you can cook. There's nice elements on there. It's slightly confused. What I'm a bit more worried about is if you want to sort of take this path, then it has to be serious. I want it so much like you don't believe. So... I want it on so many levels, it's not even funny. Sorry. Okay. That's enough to convince me. OK, you get a yes from me. At the end of the day, you can cook, it's a good dish, so it's a yes from me. <laughs> Up next is a former beauty queen who has set her sights on a cooking career. Originally, I'm from Fiji, but New Zealand is now my new home for the past seven years. I want to win this, and I'm going to cook my butt off. I'm going to let the food speak for itself when it comes to the judges, and let's hope I'm here at the end of it. So have you been fooling around with ikalolo? Yes, I was... Fish uh, with ikabaka, coconut cream. Ikabakalolo, yes. So I yeah. thought of incorporating both my two countries now. Where I was born and raised and New Zealand, which is now my home. And, of course, I had to use fresh coconut, so... You've, you've scraped the coconut, coconut yourself and you've squeezed, squeezed it? the living daylights out of it. Good on you. Yes. You guys have good poker faces. Actually, this is the face of it tastes really good. Oh. It's delicious. Well done. Oh, yes. Yes! <laughs> With just a handful of aprons left, only a few more lucky contestants can make it through. That's excellent. Oh, man! Oh, sh I really like the lamb wellington. Thank you. It's my kind of dish. I got through. Daddy got through. Oh, my God! <laughs> I can't believe how many different countries we've been to over the last 30, 40, 50, 60 dishes we've tried. There's been standout dishes from all over the world. We've had everything from the good old hokey yeah. right through to the crayfish. To the potatoes and gravy. And nearly killed by a lamb. Yeah, we were, yeah. Mm. I just don't know where to start with thinking about who's going to get this golden apron. I mean, they're the exceptional one. They're, they're the, the dish that we thought was the best. Yeah, out of 25 people, um, I could probably think of 15 dishes that uh, really stand out. It's going to be a tough decision. Congratulations. From over 1,000 applicants, you are our top 25. And this year sees the return of something very special, the Golden Apron. This goes to the one contestant who showed us something truly special and will fast track them straight through to the top 16. And oh boy, did we see some good food. Dave, I fill it like you've never tried in your life, or certainly I hadn't. Love your work. Andrea, I loved it. You gave us some beautiful turmeric fish. Fantastic, fantastic. Matt, for a butcher, you gave us a sensational venison dish. Absolutely loved it. Maddie, you're our youngest competitor and you gave us a dessert that was well beyond your years. But the winner of this year's Golden Apron is Dave McKinnon.
tell us how it feels. I'm just blown away. And it's going to bypass you through next week's challenge. That's incredible. <laughs> well done. Awesome. <laughs> the remaining 24 of you have got to battle it out for the last 15 spots. So let the battle commence and the best of luck to all of you. Come on.